Hello, my name is Amy Wall. I'm an enrolled agent in Tucson, Arizona. I am very excited to be teaching cryptocurrency taxation at the Taxposium in Las Vegas this summer. So in this seminar, I'm going to be giving everyone an introduction to decentralized finance and cryptocurrency. Uh, I'll present a summary of the IRS guidance to date. It's not going to be a line by line analysis because you know, what can you do in two hours? Um, but I have made like a list. These are the important concepts in cryptocurrency taxation. So we're gonna go through those important concepts. Then we're gonna apply those tax laws to real life situations. Um, we're gonna look at some of the actual forms that you're gonna expect to see. I have some advanced 2022 1099 forms from an exchange, very exciting. So we can take a look at those. Uh, we'll make sure everyone understands how to deal with the crypto question, when to answer yes, when to answer no. Then we'll move into a few of the unanswered questions on cryptocurrency taxation. And then we'll end with the best practices for your office when dealing with cryptocurrency clients. So the reason that this is an important class is honestly, it's not feasible for tax practitioners to believe <laughs> that they can stay away from cryptocurrency taxation. Uh, you know, depending on your source, the stats are that about 18% to 22% of American adults own some form of crypto. That number is going up, not down. So, you know, unfortunately, we can choose not to specialize in crypto. We can't, we cannot afford to just ignore it unless we're planning to retire this tax season. Uh, so, you know, we're going to have to just uh, get comfortable with it. That's the bottom line. You know, I've been to Las Vegas a few times, honestly, mostly for tax conferences. <laughs> uh, I can highly recommend the spa at Caesars Palace. Okay, that could sound crazy. I was delighted that this conference was being held at Caesars Palace. It's my favorite hotel in Vegas, just because it, it is so camp. <laughs> and the spa is modeled after Roman baths and they have like pools and saunas of different temperatures. So if you have a chance to check out the sauna, totally worth it.